Hello folks, I'm Wendy Johnson. Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank my subscribers for subscribing and making my channel possible. What I'm going to do today is work on a Poland Pro 46cc. It's right here. The carburetor's got to come off and I have to change the fuel line. And this carburetor comes off a whole lot differently. You may be able to find a different way to get it off. I'm just going to show you how I am going to take it off. So stick around if you want to see how it comes off. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this cover right here off. And these little screws right here take a T20 Torx. And I'll just pull it off. Now go ahead and grab a plain screwdriver and back out this screw and this screw and take your air filter off. Now as you can see right here, I can't get my Torx bit back in here to get these bolts out to remove the carburetor. So I'm going to take this Phillips screw here out, this one here and this one here. And I'm going to remove this cover and see what's behind it and start taking it apart that way. I got to make room to get that carburetor out. Also, if you turn it over right here on the bottom, there's another screw. You take this one out. I'm just going to leave this on here and I'm going to take it off right here. That way the spring stays on here. Now this cover piece right here should come right off. Try to leave everything else in place, like the trigger and all. So that way we'll know exactly how it goes back together. Now you just go ahead and remove this, just like that. Back here is the cable, so we're going to remove that as well. Let's take a small screwdriver and just pop it out of there. And that's your cable. Remember, that's where it goes. Now with this cover here off, I should be able to move it over a little bit, get these screws out, and get the carburetor off. So now I'm going to take these two bolts right here out. They take a T25 Torx bit. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. Just one screw. I'll move this over and pull the other screw out. They're pretty long. Take this cover right here off. <laughs> oh, it's got a hose hooked to it. Let's take this grommet right here out. That's our throttle cable. Move it out of the way. We might be able to pull it out right here. Let's see. There we go. Got it all out of the way. Something else popped off here. Oh, the plunger. All that is is for uh, vibration. This plunger right here went on right here. So I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, here's the gasket. It actually fell down in there. Okay, now this came off. The choke is right here. Carburetor. And I'll show you how it all goes back together. Okay, here's the carburetor. It has to come off so that you can actually put a fuel line in. Because that's what failed on this. I'm also going to check behind here and make sure the filter inside here is not plugged up. Because it's been sucking fuel through here without a filter. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to put this back together. But if you need to know how to clean the filter out on the inside of this, I have a video that shows you how to do that. Now let's go ahead and put a fuel line on here. And it's going to go right down in this hole right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is right there. Go ahead and take your fuel cap off. Because you're going to be pulling your fuel line through here and down. Okay, I got some fuel line here. Just make sure you get the right size fuel line or else you'll have a time getting it in that gas tank. Go ahead and take your fuel line. Cut it in a point. And I'll take this point right here and shove it down into the hole on the top of the gas tank. Now what I usually do is take PB Blaster, WD-40 or some kind of oil to lubricate the fuel line. That way it'll slide down into the top of the fuel tank. And I want you to get it fed down in there a little ways, like I got this one. It'll be sticking through the other side. And you should be able to take a pair of hemostats and go up in here and find it and grab it and pull it out. Right now I can stick my finger up in here and I can feel it sticking out and I know exactly where it's at. It might take me a few tries. Okay, well I got my hemostats on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull. 
I want to help it through the top just by pushing. There we go. And now I can actually see it in there. And I grab a hold of it and pull it on through. As you can see, right there it is. Okay, here's the fuel line sticking out. Now what you want to do is go ahead and cut it where you put that bevel in there. There we go. Now it's a nice straight flat cut. Grab the filter. Put the filter on there. But don't put the filter on there until after you clean it. I clean this filter out. Drop it down in there. Make sure it will go all over the bottom. And you may be able to just pull some of this uh, hose right back up out of the tank. Now that the filter's in here, I can go ahead and put my fuel cap back on so I don't get anything in there. Okay, if this piece falls off, don't worry, it goes right back on one way. It doesn't matter which way this goes, but you got to make sure that these right here go in towards the head. The smooth part needs to be facing outward. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of grease here and there so this gasket stays in place. Grease isn't going to hurt it. Now I got my gasket on there. It's being held by grease. And there's the gas line there. It might be better if you take this whole thing off. Okay, go ahead and take these two screws out. Because I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the handle apart. Get it out of my way. Go back in here. Take that screw out and remove this. And you're good. Now let's see what we can do with it. We got everything out of the way. This was probably a lot easier. I should have done that the first time. Okay, here's your carburetor. Put your bolts back through the housing here. Push the bolts through the carburetor. Take your throttle cable. Put it on right there, hold it in place. Now go ahead and pull your throttle cable through and that will take care of your throttle. It's not coming off. And it's also wrapping right around to the bottom right there and it's going to be underneath your choke. Now go ahead, push these back out a little bit, pull your choke back Set your carburetor on there. Put your choke right down on there. Make sure it lines up. Make sure the choke gets seated in there like so. Don't worry about your throttle. Just make sure you got your throttle pulled out. Take your bolts now and start them through your gasket. Keep an eye on it because you don't want to uh, miss because you'll be taking it back apart. Let's see if that went in. Let me take a look here. And I believe it did. I believe we're good. Okay, the gasket looks good. Now I can go ahead and tighten these down. Now this grommet goes right in here, push it down, push it right in there, well, throttle, throttle works. Okay, now that all this is secure, I'll go ahead and hook the gas line up. Turn it sideways here, I'm going to go ahead and measure it. I'm going to cut it right there. I'll make it a little more than I need. Better to have too much than not enough. Perfect. I'm going to take my hemostat. So I'm going to grab a hold of this fuel line. And I'm going to push it right on here. 
There it goes. There it is. So I'm going to put this back on first. Put it right here. And uh, I should have taken all this apart the first time. When I first started taking the carburetor off. So remember this bolt right here goes into the side of the block. Let me get it over here. Goes in right there. Move ahead and tighten it down. Now bring the handle here back around. Pop it in there. Go ahead and put your two screws back in. Now go ahead and make sure your grommet's in there. It goes right there. And this piece goes right in here. Just push it in there. Just like that. Now if this thing falls apart on you, like so, what you want to do is you just want to squeeze this together and put it all up in here in the top, like so, that way, you know, like that. Just push it in, just like that. Okay. Once you got the cover on, before you put your screws in it, go ahead and test it. Make sure that it works. Now go ahead and turn it over. Take that bolt out. And put your spring on there. Flip it over. Make sure your choke works. Okay, now go ahead, check your throttle, your safety. Go ahead, put your filter back on it. Now go ahead and put the cover back on it. Now when you're hooking your throttle handle back up, see this little indention right here? The throttle cable has got to go over top of that. So when you put it in there, make sure the throttle cable goes over top of that, or else your throttle will not work. So you now, your throttle works. Now go ahead and put it back together. Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Thanks for watching.